My roots are in Pine Mountain, Georgia. The town is a small remote place surrounded by miles of deciduous forest. The childhood home where I grew up was on FDR State Park, where my father was the senior park ranger. The early years of my life were filled with hiking, watching animals, and making watercolors of what I saw in my environment. Most of my artwork today is highly influenced by that. I see so much of the colors that I remember from my early years, the blues, the greens, and they show up in my palette even when I'm not painting the landscape. When I look into the world, I see patterns of existence present in natural and man-made forms. In a square foot of earth, there is an entire ecosystem present of organisms being born, living, eating, dying, and decomposing. On the other hand, something as simple as a sheet of paper has a narrative of its own. The paper has a point of creation and a life, but it is also finite. As an artist, my goal is to capture this universal reality in my work. I process these ideas through direct observation of the world and by trying to understand my experience within it. My historical influences range from the artists of the Dutch Baroque period to the American realist artists such as Andrew Wyeth, Edward Hopper, and Winslow Homer. These artists inspire me because of the meaning they assign to the mundane, whether it be a simple still life painting or a landscape. I explore these ideas because I am fascinated with the ontological mysteries of the world and what it means to be aware of one's own environment. My paintings are contemplations on personal ephemeral moments I experience. In this, I find a question of what it means to be alive, including both the wonder of existence and fragility of life. I don't, do not try to answer these questions, only present a moment for the viewer to participate in the time spent painting. I want them to feel the hours I spent studying the subject, with past, present, and future thoughts encapsulated within the painting. Gerhard Richter stated that he is most interested in what he does not understand, and that he did not like the things that he did understand. I believe that this is true for me as well, and that I am fascinated by all of the philosophical questions that are impossible to answer. Thank you.